Because you know I'm all about that bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. Yeah, it's pretty clear I ain't no size two, but I can shake it, shake it like I'm supposed to do. I got that boom, boom that all the boys chase. I see the magazine work in that Photoshop. We know that stuff ain't real. Come on now, make it stop. If you got beauty, beauty, just raise them up. Cause every inch of you is perfect from the bottom to the top. My name is Michael Fuller, and I'm a member of the Philharmonia Orchestra double bass section. The double bass is the largest and the lowest of all the string instruments. It is made of wood and has four strings. Basses have had different shapes, sizes, bows, tunings, and numbers of strings throughout the instrument's history. This bass has four strings, and they are E, A, D, and G. The bass is tuned in intervals of fourths which is unlike the violin, viola, and cello, which are tuned in fifths. The double bass in the orchestra is played arco, with the bow, and pizzicato, plucking the strings like this. Here's a passage from Berlioz's Symphony Fantastique, where the phrase first appears as arco, and then shortly after as pits. Pizzicato reminds us that the bass is also used in genres such as jazz and bluegrass. It's the same instrument, only the setup might be a little different depending on the style. Sometimes people ask me, why is it called the double bass? In fact, this same instrument has many different names. It's also known as the contrabass, the upright bass, the acoustic bass, the string bass, and my personal favorite, the bull fiddle. They're all names for the same instrument. There are even different theories about how the term double bass came about. Some scholars say it's because in the Baroque era, we would literally double the left hand of the keyboard instrument and an octave below the cello when we played together. But some say it's called the double bass simply because it's roughly twice the size of a cello. What is the bass's role in the orchestra? The bass primarily provides a rhythmic and harmonic foundation. It's the fundamental tone that the rest of the music is built on top of. And a good double bass section can propel the music forward, ground it rhythmically, and make the whole orchestra sound richer, warmer, and more resonant. How do composers use the double bass? Well, going back to this idea of doubling the cello an octave lower, you'll find in classical symphonies by Haydn, Mozart, and Beethoven that the cello and bass part are often almost identical.
I'll break it up a little bit. Even when I'm making the jump, I keep it linear from there. Virtuoso jazz bassist Christian McBride's legendary career has taken him from the halls of Juilliard to the stage with some of the biggest names in music. He's considered by many to be the bridge between old school jazz and the next generation of great players. And tonight, he is Fox 5's modern master. As a bass player, you are supposed to come up with different creative bass lines every single course. It could be like this, you know. I can start it off like this. Or I can start it off like this. Now, when you switch it to the pop side, the discipline is almost the exact opposite. If I may reference my dear friend Sting, we play every breath you take. This is the bass line. To keep, I have to play that exactly like that. You know, it's no, none of this, you know. I mean, I could play that, but it would get in the way and it would, it would really break up the flow of how that song is supposed to feel. Mm -hmm. 